different setup and I'm standing, which is not weird for me on a daily basis, but weird for me on a video basis. So, hey, hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today, um, I thought I would do some baking for you. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Got myself a cup of tea in an Eeyore mug. Yes, you're jealous. As you can tell by the title, I will be making my famous, well, infamous, I don't know, lots of people that in my life know it, my chocolate chip cookie cake. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a chocolate chip recipe. Now, I clearly have made this a lot, so um, I have my recipe right here. My trusty old Better Homes cookbook that says new, but it really ain't new no more. Um, my, my mama gave me this one. I think this is hers. Yeah, it was hers. So, and I'll be making chocolate chip cookies. Um, the recipe I will put in the description. So, future me, please remember to do that. And if I don't, yell at me. There you go. You will need flour, eggs, demerara, brown sugar, butter, salt, vanilla, and baking soda. I have chocolate chips, and I might add some butterscotch chips that my roommate left. Ooh, and I have scorbits. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be epic. Let's get started. All right, so to start with, I'm going to cut my butter into a one cup chunk, and um, then cut it into four pieces from that. So you're gonna take your butter and you're gonna plop it in there. Then you realize that you didn't plug in your mixer, so you're gonna pop off your bowl. Plug in your mixer. Wonderful footage I'm getting right now. You're gonna soften your butter. While that softens, you're gonna take the brown sugar. You're gonna do one and a half cups of the brown sugar. For all my friends who have always wondered how I make my um, chocolate chip cookie cake, here you go, now you can follow the recipe. So now that that's done, you're gonna add your sugar, actually do it halfway close, whatever way is easier for you to get it in, <laughs> and then continue on your mixing process. I do this semi by eye, because I always think everything's better with a little bit more vanilla. So you're gonna put your one, and then you're just gonna like, that, that's about a half, right? It's not another one, whatever. Whatever, it might be another one, but it's fine. It just makes it taste better. So I went to record um, me cracking the eggs. I have the audio of it, but um, I was supposed to film it in this kind of extra filmy bit but no no that didn't happen oops so I just added the eggs as you heard but did not see because I am very good at what I do now we're gonna add the flour I'm gonna do a little bit of from this angle hope you don't mind to give you an idea of when I'm filming this Tonight is the um, finale, first first part of the finale of Dancing with the Stars. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. All right. So now that we have put our eggs in, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. All right. So I cleaned up a little bit. I put this here. Figured it might be a better better thing than in my corner, because if I do any videotaping of what the batter looks like, then yeah. So now that I've done all of my wet ingredients, it's time to put in my dry ingredients. If you didn't know that sugar was considered a wet ingredient, it is, um, yeah. So now it's time to put in my dry ingredients, which include my flour, which is gonna be two and a half cups flour. It's dough! That's exciting, it's dough. Now that you've got 
want a nice dough consistency. I wash my hands a lot, don't worry. Now you got a nice dough consistency. Good. I feel like I say soda in a very weird way. One teaspoon baking soda. You're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt. You can add a little bit more if you want like a salted caramel thing, which I've done. You can add a little bit less if you have salted butter. You can add exactly the amount if you just want to leave it the way it is. Like me, I don't care. We got a front seat view of it disappearing. Over here. We beat him as fast as we can. Done. The last and most important part of the entire shenanigan, chocolate chips. Now I have a mixture of chocolate chips here, big and small. I don't like chocolate chips, fun fact. They're my least favorite kind of chocolate. So I only put a little bit compared to some people. You can put as much as you want. I absolutely never put exactly what they tell me to put. I eyeball it. I've never like gone and been like, oh, you need exactly one 12 ounce package of chocolate chips. Is that like this much? Ew, that will be so much. And then I never make it exactly the same ever. Like I'm gonna add some butterscotch chips to it make it a little extra yummy, a little yummy. And then I'll add some score bits, because I got some score bits. You can add, um, I thought about adding sprinkles, but I think I'm gonna do that if I do like a sugar cookie one, which I've done before, and ooh, that's a crowd favorite. And now. this mix that I like to like pop it off and make oop, shove all of the dough off of the little spatula here all of it down well not all of it all of it but majority of it to make sure that it gets all nice and mixed up. What I totally forgot to show you is that you preheat your oven to uh, 375 and yeah, you wait. Why I forgot to show it to you? I forgot to do it. I claim to be a really good baker and then I forget to do the most important part. So, Will's back been um, waiting for, okay, what's going on? This is not how it's set up. What is going on? Okay, that works, one more. Um, well, I was waiting. Instead of putting this into a pan or anything, I was watching Liza Koshy. Uh, don't judge me. That's not where I want to be. Um, ow, that didn't hurt me at all. You want a pan, okay? A square pan. This is what makes it not cookies. Then you're gonna wanna grease that pan with cooking spray. If you have kids or someone, you can have them like this bachelor. Don't worry, my hands are clean. I've said that like, what, six times in this video? Um, you're gonna wanna smush it so it gets nice and flat. And you're gonna wanna bake it in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes or until it's still gooey on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna take it, put it into my oven. I have no idea if that was good footage because I was paying attention to not burning myself. Okay, you put your timer on for 18 to 20 minutes. I liked 18 because it's usually a little nicer. Yeah. So while that's baking, you're gonna wanna clean up. Well, you're not gonna want to, but 
cleaning up is important. So clean up while you wait and listen to Liza Koshi because that's what I'm going to be doing. It beeped and it smells freaking incredible. So got oven mitts. Let's, oh. Let's check it out. Nope. It's coming out clean except where I stabbed it into a um, chocolate chip. So soft and warm and ooh, it's gonna be very good. I grab a grate. It's great. And I put it over here. It's cool. I leave it in the thing till it's cool. And then I pop it out. This is soapy water. I'm letting it sit. I did a lot of cleaning, clearly. All right, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think if you tried the recipe. And if you do try the recipe, tweet me the picture or Instagram me the picture. Um, you can tag me, my info is below. And you can tag it with cookie cake, hashtag cookie cake because I can't, I'm not inventive in my hashtags. Um, so yeah, tweet it to me, let me know what you think. Also comment down below, um, what is your favorite Christmas treat? There'll be a video over here if you wanna watch something else. And you can subscribe to me right there. And there's a notification bell down there so you can be notified every time I upload, which is every day this month. All right, bye!